All right, so I want to quickly cover uh, Donald Trump right now. I know that's a huge topic, Donald Trump. You know, everybody's talking about him. Uh, and I just want to talk about, you know, the whole thing of political correctness now. You know, everybody is like, not everybody, but, you know, some people are, you know, really freaking out about his comments. You know, he's told women, you know, to get on their knees. He's told, he's called Rosie O'Donnell a fat slob. Uh, he's, he's made a lot of, uh, I guess, controversial that a lot of people are calling comments towards people. And I love it. You know, I really do love it. You know, um, I, and he just says, oh, I'm just joking a lot of times. And I, I mean, like in private, you know, to, to, or to our friends, I mean, think of the things a lot, a lot of us do with friends and shit like that. I mean, you know, people are just so ridiculous and probably hypocritical. I mean, while Donald Trump, you know, just is using his First Amendment, not committing a crime, I'm sure we've all done shit, you know, that uh, is wrong and actually is hurting people physically or uh, putting people in danger or breaking a law, whatever the fuck it may be, you know. Um, I'm not saying I've done those things, but I'm saying, you know, we've all done much worse things probably than Donald Trump. I mean, and I love it. I love how he's outspoken. I love how he's not politically correct. I love how he's, you know, just calling people stupid and morons and, you know, telling people to do this and head. It's really funny. And it's just, again, it's refreshing. Now, the whole topic of whether he's a real or not, is he a plant for the Democratic Party? Uh, is he just looking out for his own business uh, 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 endeavors? You know, uh, I don't know, but it, it, it definitely is coming off as real to me. I mean, he could be, you know, in bed with Hillary, who knows, but, you know, I, I, I'm really loving now how a lot of the media is just freaking out over his, you know, comments and shit, while they don't really cover the real issues of what he stands for. You know, he's, he, he's just cool. I mean, he really is uh, how he's, you know, calling people what it is. He's not worrying about oh my god is the media going to attack me he's just being open he's just being real and I, and I like that and a lot of people like that too and people are like oh when he makes a disparaging comment his ratings go up why is that well because people want to see the real deal they want to see somebody you know most people are like that they, they say what's on their mind they don't worry about what people are going to think uh, you know at least I am I don't give a fuck what people think of me on YouTube I, I, I go on here I speak my mind I say my opinion I'm not worried about how many likes or dislikes I get and, and I get mostly likes because people realize I'm real and that's what Donald Trump is and I think a lot of people appreciate that he's a real guy uh, he's you know is he perfect no but again he, he just speaks his mind and a lot of people are appreciating that right now and he's a lot better than a lot of the candidates you know who are uh, you know oh, you know so scared to you know speak their mind go against Obama you know a little bit they'll tackle you know the Democrats and the left but you know they won't go full on you know Donald Trump is going full on he's you know, not backing down from any of this shit, and, and it's really cool to see a guy like that, you know, most of these Republicans are afraid to do anything real, they're bought and paid for, they're basically Democrats, you know, but, you know, Donald Trump, real deal, you know, Rand Paul, I mean, even though, you know, Rand Paul, I, I think he's a good guy and shit, but you always got, you got that in the back of your mind, is he really... You know, his father, is he really real? Is he part of the establishment too? You never know. You know, same thing with Ted Cruz. Is he part of the establishment? I don't know. You know, you can't trust anybody, it seems like, these days. So we'll see, though. Maybe a Rand Paul, maybe a Donald Trump will get in there. Let's see if they're real or not. Are they real? I don't know. But, I mean, I definitely definitely like what, you know, a Rand Paul, a Ted Cruz... Uh, you know, Donald Trump are saying, I like how they're acting. Hopefully they are real. Um, and even some of the Republicans, I like what they're saying, you know, but it's just like, are they just part of the establishment? Are they just, are they just saying these things to get, uh, you know, support? Are they actually real? Are they going to be another Obama where they just break their promises, say one thing and then just do a different, totally different thing and lie? You can't, it's just like, you just can't trust anybody these days because everybody's so immoral and shit. But, you know, it's just refreshing, though, to see Donald Trump speak his mind and not worry about shit and just be a real guy. I love real people. And Donald Trump, 
is coming off as a real guy. He's not worried about the media, and I just love it. I love it. I love it. So uh, there you go, people. There's my thoughts on political correctness. Political correctness is, uh, for the most part, bullshit. You know, I, I love people who are real and shit. So there you go, people. There's my thoughts on Donald Trump and all this political correctness bullshit.